the heavy doors of the cathedral slowly creaked open, revealing the towering interior bathed in the warm glow of flickering candles. The silence inside was profound, broken only by the soft shuffle of feet as members of the royal family made their way to their private pews. Their lives, gilded with wealth and power, had always been surrounded by this sacred place, where faith intertwined with duty and prayer offered both solace and guidance. Yet, beneath the grandeur of the royal lifestyle lay a question that has stirred humanity for centuries. How much of their power was their own, and how much was guided by a higher hand? Religion has played an essential role in shaping royal life throughout history. For centuries, kings and queens have ruled not only with the authority of their crowns, but also with the blessings of their faith. In this story, we will explore the profound influence of religion on royal lifestyles, from daily rituals to the shaping of entire nations. We will discover how belief shaped the actions of rulers and their families and how, in turn, their faith impacted the world around them. At the heart of many royal lifestyles was the belief that their rule was ordained by a higher power. This concept, known as divine right, gave kings and queens a sense of purpose and legitimacy that was more than just earthly authority. Rulers believed they were chosen by God to lead their people, and this belief often guided their decisions and shaped their reigns. In a world where political instability and warfare were common, the idea that a king or queen was appointed by a divine being provided a sense of order and stability. It was not just a matter of personal faith. It was the cornerstone of governance for many monarchies. But religion was not just about political power. It also permeated the personal lives of royal families. From a young age, members of royal households were taught the importance of faith. They prayed daily, attended religious services, and observed religious festivals with great solemnity. Their lives were intertwined with religious duties, from the sacraments of marriage and baptism to the solemnity of royal funerals. The church was often present at every significant moment in a monarch's life, acting as both a spiritual guide and a symbol of authority. One of the most striking examples of the connection between royalty and religion is found in the coronation ceremonies of kings and queens. These ceremonies were not just political events, they were deeply religious moments that symbolized the ruler's divine appointment. During the coronation, the monarch was anointed with holy oil, a practice that has its roots in ancient religious traditions. This act of anointing set the ruler apart as chosen by God, giving their rule a sacred dimension. For both the monarch and their subjects, this ritual reinforced the idea that the royal family's power came from a higher authority, which brought with it both privilege and responsibility. While religion offered royal families a source of power, it also demanded a great deal of them. The expectations placed on kings and queens were immense. They were expected to lead not only as rulers, but also as moral examples for their people. Their faith was meant to guide their decisions, their behavior, and their interactions with others. In times of crisis, the people looked to their rulers for guidance, believing that their actions were divinely inspired. However, this relationship between royalty and religion was not without its challenges. Throughout history, there have been moments when the demands of faith clashed with the realities of ruling. Monarchs were often faced with difficult decisions where their religious beliefs and political needs were at odds. For example, in times of war, a king might be torn between his duty to protect his nation and the teachings of peace and forgiveness that his religion espoused. These conflicts were not easy to resolve, and they often tested the fortitude and character of the rulers who faced them. At the same time, religion offered royal families a sense of comfort and stability. In a world where political alliances could shift overnight and enemies were always on the horizon, faith provided a constant. It offered hope in times of difficulty, solace in moments of loss, and a reminder that their rule was part of a larger, divine plan. For many monarchs, prayer and religious devotion were a refuge from the stresses of leadership. The quiet moments spent in chapels or private prayer rooms were times of reflection and renewal, where they could seek guidance and strength for the challenges they faced. The role of religion in royal lifestyles was not limited to individual rulers. It also played a crucial role in shaping entire dynasties and nations. For example, many royal families made significant decisions based on their religious beliefs, such as forming alliances through marriage with other Christian monarchies or funding religious institutions. In some cases, monarchs even launched wars in the name of their faith, such as the Crusades, where European kings sought to reclaim the Holy Land. 
These actions had a profound impact on the course of history, shaping the relationships between nations and the spread of religious ideas across continents. In addition, religion often influenced the way royal families were perceived by their people. Monarchs who were seen as devout and pious were often admired and respected, while those who were seen as failing in their religious duties could lose the trust of their subjects. A king or queen's faith could become a public matter, scrutinised by both the church and the people. This placed a great deal of pressure on royal families to maintain their religious observances and to be seen as upholding the moral values of their faith. Yet, despite the heavy expectations placed on them, many royal families found great meaning in their religious lives. Their faith was not just a duty, it was a source of personal strength. In times of illness, war, or political turmoil, many rulers turned to their religion for guidance. They sought comfort in the belief that their rule was part of a divine plan and that, through prayer and devotion, they could find the wisdom and fortitude to lead their people. As we explore the role of religion in royal lifestyles, it is important to recognize that faith was not a one-size-fits-all experience for kings and queens. Different monarchs approached their religion in different ways. Some were deeply devout, spending hours in prayer and reflection, while others saw religion more as a tool for political legitimacy than as a personal conviction. However, regardless of the individual differences, the presence of religion in the lives of royal families was undeniable. It is also important to remember that the relationship between royalty and religion was not always peaceful. There were times when the church and the crown found themselves at odds, especially when it came to questions of power and authority. In some cases, Monarchs challenged the church's influence over their rule, while in others, religious leaders sought to assert control over the crown. These tensions led to some of the most significant moments in history, such as the Reformation, when monarchs like Henry VIII broke away from the Catholic Church to establish their religious authority. In the end, the role of religion in royal lifestyles is a reminder of the deep connection between faith and leadership. For centuries, kings and queens have sought to balance the demands of their faith with the responsibilities of ruling. Their lives offer us a window into how belief can shape not only individual lives, but entire nations. Religion was not just a private matter for royalty, it was a public statement of who they were and what they stood for. It guided their decisions, shaped their actions, and offered them a sense of purpose in a world that was often unpredictable and dangerous. Whether through the solemnity of coronations, the quiet moments of prayer, or the grand gestures of religious diplomacy, Faith was always at the heart of royal life. As we reflect on the role of religion in royal lifestyles, we can learn valuable lessons about self-control, fortitude, and the importance of staying true to our beliefs. Just as the kings and queens of history faced difficult choices and challenges, we too must navigate the complexities of life with a sense of purpose and moral clarity. The example set by these rulers, both in their triumphs and their struggles, can inspire us to strive for inner strength to seek guidance in our faith and to remain steadfast in the face of adversity. Let us take inspiration from their journeys. Though we may not wear crowns or sit on thrones, we all have a role to play in our own lives and we can all draw strength from the principles of faith, duty and resilience that have guided rulers for centuries. In this way, we can build a life that is not only strong and enduring, but also meaningful and guided by the values that matter most. If you found this video enlightening, Please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with others who may benefit from exploring these concepts further.